what's going on. Look, if you want to find out about the world of Ghana, go to Ni Aie. He's talking about the things. You follow him on YouTube. That's the place to do it. You heard it from me, Sam Richardson. Hi everyone out there. Yes, once again, welcome to my channel. My name is Nia aka Ganyubi. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you to everyone that have subscribed to my channel. Yes, we are 3K now. And the target is to get 10K by the end of this year. And if this is your first time watching my video, I still like to plead with you. If you like my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like, share, and leave me a comment. Okay, so a quick update on Danny Glover in Ghana. Well, we all know that this is not the first time Danny Glover is, is in Ghana or his visit to Ghana. Danny Glover was part of the movie that part was shot here in Ghana, which I know most of you might not be aware of. The movie is called Deadly Void. Deadly Void is a 1996 television film directed by John Mackenzie and written by Stout Urban. HBO Home Video presents Such a big goat. We could easily store away The true story of a dream A chance for us a new start A dream of freedom They're going to be engineers But they never imagined the price they would pay We have a story What? Who are you? My name is Kingsley Ofusu We are ready to pay for our journey Leave it to us, sir you don't need to know about any of this. In the race... We're taking you to a better place. To escape... To kill her! The unthinkable... Who will survive to tell the world? The movie is about eight stories, including Kingsley Owusu being the main character in the movie. Kingsley had a plan of going abroad with his brother to study and return home as an engineer. When these eight stowaways were found on board a Russian cargo ship, some of the officers and the crew decided to dispose of them at sea. And in this movie, Kingsley Owusu was the only survivor. And this is a true story that was used to make this movie. Danny Glover participated in the film as executive producer. And he just met some of the casts of the movie here in Ghana after so many years. Um, let's go have a look at this video of their meeting. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment of what you think. And in case of any updates, I'll still bring it to you. Stay glued to my channel. Peace out. Ola Bawa. I'm gonna say, I'm Danny Glover, and, and I've had the opportunity to work in Ghana and producing the film Deadly Boys 24 years ago. It was one of the bright moments of, mi of many moments in the history of Ghana and the filmmaking. From, from, from Ghana Films, which was established at the time of its independence, one of the first film, one of the first countries to establish their own film production company after independence was Ghana. It also is an opportunity, was an opportunity to get to know many of the great film, wonderful filmmakers here, many of the technicians and artists and, and actors who were part of that. Some of them are still doing work on a renown in the work we're doing. I think that, that, that we have an extraordinary opportunity in this moment, right now, in Ghana's history, to create something that's sustainable. And that sustainability lies in, in setting a Ghana National Film Fund and, 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 and industry. Putting this on its feet, bringing the people to Ghana to make films as one of the number one, the number one destination in West Africa, providing the opportunity not only to build a film industry, but allowing them to create work that service not only West Africa and Africa, but the rest of the, the, rest of the planet as well. I'm, I'm, I'm here as, essentially on this year of return, saying that one of the first things that I would want to return with and be with and be a part of is such a venture. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.